Hey, so today uh, I'm going to be a, a silhouette instead of a fully formed figure with uh, good lighting on his face as sort of a statement on how we need to appreciate Mother Earth more than the people that live upon her and drain her resources. Uh, we, need to, we need to shine light upon her many bountiful gifts and for just a little while put those human beings deep into the shadow. It's also just because I couldn't figure out a better way to frame this shot and I have limited time because I'm on my lunch break. But what's nice about this is that uh, I am unable to scrutinize my face with this setup right now. You might notice, and if you didn't notice before, go back through all my other videos, you will not be able to unnotice it. I am constantly looking at the display instead of the camera lens. But I cannot actually make out any details on my face today, uh, so I cannot say, oh, my pores look bad, or my face looks particularly asymmetrical, or there are some wayward hairs on my head. So actually, this is pretty relieving for me for a day. Uh, so I just got a promotion of sorts, which is very, very relieving. So I've been an on-call at my company for about the past nine months, and it's had its ups and downs, but I've been feeling very, very, very done with it. I've been very, very sick of not having any guaranteed hours, of being super low on the seniority list, uh, and just in general, I just kind of needed a change. So I got a coded part-time position with this company. So I have guaranteed hours in the week now, finally. Um, but I also, it's also about half the hours that have been asked of me as of late in these particularly busy weeks. Like I'm an on-call, but on-calls get worked pretty hardcore at this place because they're in such dire need as is the entire world. You know, every single company that hires people is short-staffed right now. Uh, but yeah, I got this position and I'm really really excited about it because it offers me a handful of a handful of choices for what I can do next I'm gonna get a little bit closer because the background noise. I forgot that the freeway is right behind me um, You know it offers me a couple of choices and I don't actually start this part-time position until about a month from now a little over a month which almost perfectly will fall at the very end of summer I will almost perfectly end this bout of videos on the day of the autumn solstice. That just feels beautiful and magical to me. And what I might do when it gets to that point is just use those extra days, now that I'm only working part time, to just really focus hardcore on my art. I, it's really, really been taking a back seat lately because, you know, I'm working full time and then in the time that I do have off, uh, I just want to have a little bit of fun or a little bit of relaxation. Um, I just, I just really need to take care of myself and I'm okay with lowering some of my monthly expenses on the fun things. If I can just focus a lot more hours on being productive, on making cool little short films and comedy sketches, maybe figuring out a better way to make these videos. Uh, finishing up my novel that I've been writing for a couple years now. It's going on three years, holy heck. That still feels like a new thing to me, that novel that I've been writing. Um, and I'm, I'm very, very close to having a final draft of it. I have a lot of awesome things that I can do. Another thing that I can do is that in some weeks when I need the extra cash, I can tell work, hey, um, go ahead and call me on some of those days that I'm off if you need extra help. And they probably will because they always need extra help. So I could probably fill in those extra hours if I need to, but I don't have to accept those shifts, you know what I mean? Like right now as an on-call, I pretty much have to accept any shifts that they offer to me last minute. If I just say, hey, I'm potentially open to it, they can call me and ask and I can say, meh, I'm good, thanks. And then another thing that I might do is I might work part-time here and then work part-time at a really low stress job. I'd love to get back into senior caregiving, you know, even if it's just like 10 hours a week. That was super rewarding, and uh, yeah, I'd love to do that again. Um, or maybe just work at, I don't know, a, a coffee shop or something like that. Something where I can, it doesn't have to pay that great, it just gets me a couple extra supplemental hours in the week. Uh, that would be really, really nice for me. Uh, I, have a, I have a grand future ahead of me. 
that I'm really, really excited about for the first time in a while. I've been really, really down in the dumps about my prospects. I literally told my mom a couple weeks ago when I got declined one of the jobs I applied for, I was like, I'm just in HE double hockey sticks and I'm stuck here. But obviously that was a tad bit pessimistic, as I can be on a couple of occasions or constantly. Um, but I'm feeling really, really good right now. And uh, yeah, I just, we're, uh, we're about two thirds into the year and I really, really wanna make this last third count.